Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be uh, building the extruders and installing them on the uh, Zone Star. So, this guy, since it's dual extruder, has two extruders. Exciting, right? So, I've already built one to make sure I've seen how it goes together because one of the pieces, these actually mount up underneath, and I'll do some overlays. Uh, which is really kind of nice, makes this a compact unit, which is a little bit different than the ones I've seen on the um, uh, internet that kind of were on the top here. So let's get into it for the assembly of the motor. So we're going to take the motor assembly, and you're going to want to have the, uh, the wire connector facing down, sort of like this. And then what we're going to do is open up our part bag, and... Dump out all the parts, if you will. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece, which is the uh, exit piece, and we're going to insert the uh, pressure nut in here. We're just going to make this finger tight for right now. And then what this is going to do, as you can see here, this is going to go to the top side because what's in here are the two screws that will mount to here and here, and then also uh, here and here. So I'm going to go ahead and this is going to mount on. Whoop! I almost forgot. Got a little ahead of myself. I want to put the cog on first. It'll be a little bit easier this way. You could have gone the other way. Um, but I'm simply just going to loosen this up. And I think this is, what, a 1.5 millimeter hex. So I'm just going to open this up. And you want to make sure you get it on the uh, flat side. These parts fall off. You want to get it on the flat side. And... You want to make sure you don't lose the screws, so you're going to get these on here. And you want to snug these down. And get these nice and snug. And again, you're going to want to have it so it doesn't quite touch the motor, but the, the collar is at the top. So, now that we've done that, we're going to fetch back our spring here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this at the top here sort of like this and we gotta get the right top because as you can see these are actually indented so one side's not indented one side is so you're going to take the longer black screws here and put these in here and then what these are going to do is actually go inside Okay, so now with this mounted on here, uh, you see there's a nice little gap here to set, offset this from the top of this motor housing. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the pinch wheel and install this. Now one of the things that I'm going to do is, is this has a, a tension adjustment. I'm going to screw this back to make it a little bit easier. And then again, adjust it later because what we're going to do is we're going to take this larger hex head, we're going to take the spring, we're going to insert this in here, and then this is going to go up inside here, and then this is going to press inside here, then what we're going to do is take this screw and kind of press it in, and this is going to take a little bit of effort and a little bit of finessing to get just right, but if you do, then it should pretty much assemble like this and now you can press on here and again it'll open and close the uh, the uh, pinch wheel and there it goes so now we have two extruders so now what we're going to do is we're going to go install these on the machine and then kind of long story short they're going to go up in here like this so what we're going to do is take this insert insert this here and then we're going to find the first screw hole and we're going to take this M3 and screw this in here. It's got a little bigger screwdriver with a little bit more torque on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another one and place it here. Now I was looking to see if there's direction that these go and it doesn't appear so, so I might have to correct myself uh, in a follow-up video or um, you know, check the comments below 
if I have to do any updates I'll put them in the comments below but then you can you get your cinch back here on the bottom and then what's going to happen this one's going to go in the way it appears is at a bit of an angle um, and it, it pretty much has to go in roughly the same way with the uh, the extruded to the inside. Now I would prefer if this was kind of facing outside so you can see but I guess there's some advantages to this. It's sort of like a self-protection mechanism so you won't get your fingers caught in there uh, or kids won't get their fingers caught in there. Probably more adept. So there you go. We now have the extruders built, the extruders installed. The only thing we have to do is put our tubes on. I'm going to do that off camera. Pretty simple to do. I don't think I need to show that. Um, so now, I guess don't forget the swag shop up there. And in the next episode, when we come back, we'll start installing all the electronics, which is going to be probably the most complicated piece of this whole build. Because again, the mechanics of this thing, super straightforward, no issues so far, no missing parts. Big thumbs up for that. Thank you, GearBest. Thank you, Fernie. And to tell you what, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all.